Welcome to another video walkthrough for TikTok Effect House templates. The one we've got here has been long awaited and is a really awesome template where you can make a bracket. Um, so as you can see on the screen, the interface for using it allows you to put eight different textures that represent eight different choices. And so these objects in our example here, it's food, these foods are competing for which is your top favorite. So the way that a bracket will work is it'll randomly select the first two. The first two here were cake and pizza. And then I chose pizza. So it saves that pizza choice in the bracket. Next, I just chose sushi accidentally uh, between sushi and popcorn. So that option saved. After it fills out all of the first tier options, uh, we'll see that it starts to compare the next tier, the winners of the first two tiers, pizza and sushi. And so after I choose sushi, because that's obviously the answer, uh, then you'll see we go into the third round where the semifinals winners are battling for the final first place position. And of course, the answer is always sushi. And sushi is our winner. So this, this is a very fun template because you can come up with all different sorts of contests between different objects, teams, uh, diff different things, uh, whatever your imagination can come up with. Uh, and another cool thing about this is because uh, I have random order selected, I can add more than eight items in this uh, array here. So. This is just a list of items. If you hit this plus sign, you can select even more. And you'll see, uh, since I have it set to random, we'll probably see one of these. Oh yeah, I probably wouldn't eat that, but I'll just try it, see, see how it does <laughs> in the tournament. And yeah, definitely pizza. Um, so if you could imagine basically any tournament bracket, uh, you can just plug these in and instantly the whole effect is made for you. Um, the other options that I would encourage you to mess with a little bit if you want to is the highlight color and the scale amount. So this highlight color by default is green. It's like a very bright green signifying this is the choice the user is making. Notice the low light color affects not only the frame but also the image allowing you to sort of gray it out, put it in the background and give the center stage to the one that the person, the user is um, choosing. So also this scale amount uh, is the is controlling how large the pictures get. So if I put it back to zero, then the choice that you're choosing is not going to get larger and the other well, the choice that you're not choosing is not going to get smaller. Um, so let's pump this all the way up to one and you'll see it'll actually double in size as you're choosing it. Keep in mind, if you put too many things into your make array list, just give it a nice right click and remove pin to remove these. Uh, that's a nice little tip. So besides that, um, there's you can uncheck random order if you want this specific order in the list to always uh, be the order that these pop up. That might be desirable for you. And uh, just to go briefly into the visual scripting, uh, you'll notice that it's a lot like the other head tilt uh, templates, if you've seen them in the past, like one person quiz or this or that. Um, it has the head, quilt, head tilt <laughs> subgraph, and s some of these parts have been modified to just be a little nicer visually, and uh, some of them have been modified because they needed to be to fit this whole new concept. Uh, most of the selection of which objects are going to pop up next, we'll, you'll find them in the setup next question. And update next tier is where a lot of the logic is that is uh, saving your answers somewhere so that it can reference them to bring them back up later. So those are two places where I would look. And then on the upper left and upper right is where the the images are fading out and fading in whenever you, after you make a choice. Um, and besides that, I think everything else is totally uh, just easy to understand based on the subgraph titles. 
So feel free to pick through it if you want, but you don't need to.